So the Mongo installation is done for Windows. Let's try and uh, run this. Uh, you can't find it anywhere in the start, so you don't even have to go in there. I just want to show that it's not there. Uh, let's try and open just a normal file explorer here. And I'm going into the C drive here, and I'm going into program files. It's one or the other, and you get this MongoDB folder here. I open that one under server, under 3.2, under bin. All the way in here, I want to find a command prompt. So either you do a copy here, and you go in and start your command prompt, CMD, like this, I get a command prompt, and I can write CD and then paste in that copy. That's one way to get into the drive and the location I want to go to, right? Another way is to actually just, on your explorer here, just click this entire line and write CMD and just press enter, right? Then you get in there as well. Let's just do that again. So I just click out here where there's nothing and it'll pop up with this and I'll just write CMD and press enter and I pop up right in the area I want to go to. Now to start the database, notice there are two things I'm doing here. To start the database, I write MongoD, and I hope I get an error. It pops up with an error saying, you did not find the data directory, so where should I store my data? So the Mongo is just storing its data inside this data folder right here. So we have to create that to make this work. So let's just create another, I'll just open another explorer here. I'll go under C, that's what it says here in the note, C data DB. So I'll just go under C. You can do it from the terminal as well if, if you feel better with that. Uh, I'll go under C, I'll do a new folder, I'll call it data. Wasn't that the name? Yeah, the folder is data. And under that folder, I'm going to make another folder and I'll call that DB. There we go. So let's try and run this again to start the Mongo database. Everything is up and running when you have something saying, waiting for connections on port 27017. If you're there, you're ready to move to the next step. But now the Mongo database is running on the Windows machine, so let's move forward from that. See you in the next lesson.